How we doing everybody? Welcome back to Dagwood Z's Tonsorium. I'm Dagwood Z with a shaving cadre and today we're going to be doing a shave with new soap to me, Noble Otter's Monarch. So this was released just uh, uh, last month and it features notes. I'll give you the scent notes right here. Um, now, what I get off of it from those scent notes, so lavender powder, cognac coffee, orange, neroli, hyacinth, sandalwood, and vanilla. Um, so I can get the lavender, but it's immediately, it, it's rarely really well blended with the orange and neroli, um, which is very, it's not something you find all that often um, in scent profiles. Um, the powder kind of carries everything. It's not a powdery scent, not to my nose at least. Um, the hyacinth gives it a little bit of a little bit more floral, while the sandalwood and vanilla really give it a grounding. Um, really, really pleasant uh, scent. Um, I would put it uh, right up there as far as uh, enjoyability of the scent, right up there with uh, Tainuara Vanilla, um, and it shares some similarities with Tainuara Vanilla in that. Um, it, you, you almost get uh, a sense of tea up top, uh, but it's not quite as dark. Now there is no tea in the in the scent notes, but it just it smells wonderful. Uh, it really does. Uh, what we're going to be using for the shave today is my Shave Mac 26 millimeter two band silver tip. This is a fan, and for the razor, we're going with the big old Philly 14. This is an 88. Razor. This is a first generation Philly. Um, and uh, it's got a wonderful edge put on there by Doc from the Little Estate. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go and uh, get lathering. Now, I have shaved with this one, one other time. So, this is my second shave with Monarch. Really enjoyed the first one. Um, again, Noble Otter as a soap base which I'll put the set notes right here. As a soap base, Noble Otter is probably my, my first soap outside of my elite soaps. I would put this as the, my top non-elite soap. Of course, that list of elite soaps is growing, so I might have to reevaluate. But such is life. The bar keeps getting raised, and these artisans are just constantly improving their formulas and making better and better products for us. Um, it's really a wonderful time to be a wet shaver. I had quite a bit of bloom water in there, so I won't need to add too many uh, squirts from the bottle. So something I wanted to talk about, um, can't get into too much of it just for terms of use issues but um, I want to thank everybody I just hit 100 subscribers uh, the other day I think it was yesterday I hit 100 subscribers um, and I wanted to give a real big thank you to everybody um, it really is humbling to know that I have people that take time out of their day to spend it with me um, and enjoy the videos that I'm putting together um, I enjoy putting them together and uh, I'm really really it's really pleasing to know that people are getting something out of it and uh, yeah I'll, uh, I'll keep doing videos as long as I can uh, of course when I leave where I'm at right now and uh, head back home finally um, of course my schedule is going to be all kind of messed up and uh, we'll see from there uh, hopefully I'm able to at least do one or two a week at that point, but that's not in the immediate future. So, lather is coming together really nice. Oh yeah, I think we'll we'll go with what we got right here. So, all right, guys, be right back and uh, looking forward to the shave. I got two days worth of growth, so uh, it'll feel nice. All right, see you in a second. All right, guys, let's get right into this. So the strength of scent off of this is probably 
I would put it about a two and a half out of five. Lathered up. Initially, I thought, man, this is, it kind of weakened, but now I'm starting to think that it maybe is like more like a three. Really nice. Um, and that's just my perception of it. Um, some people might feel that it's a little weak, more weak. Um, I always find it interesting how different people perceive scents in different manners. Um, something that I find to be utterly fantastic, other people, um, you know, and I get, I'll get hints of, I don't know, tangerine, just, just to name some random scents, tangerine, lavender, and lemongrass. I don't know. Um, other people will smell it and, and just get a, not smell any of that and get something completely different. So, always interesting. So, Philly 14. Edge is nice and smooth. And the soap is providing a nice little platform for this razor just to glide right over the skin. Very nice. As far as how much water this soap takes, um, it has a fairly wide water band. You can uh, you can leave it a little bit on the less hydrated side. Or you can bring it up and massively hydrate it if that's what you prefer. Right now I've got this a little bit more dry than I prefer, but Still perfectly serviceable lather, perfectly usable lather. Um, so, very nice. I'll rinse my face real quick. We'll go right into uh, pass two. So, we're going to add a little bit of water here. And again, where I've got the lather right now, many people might say, well, it's perfectly good lather. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not too dry. And honestly, it's got an excellent sheen to it right now. But we're just going to add some more and see what happens.
the scent is awesome. There we go. That looks like some slick stuff right there. Let's see how that translates into the shave. Now, as is normal, when you start adding more water, um, it will tend most soaps to affect the cushion. So the cushion meaning the amount of lather that stays between the <coughs> bevel of the blade and your skin. Some soaps have excellent cushion. Otherwise known as protection. But have lackluster uh, slickness, which is the ability of the soap to allow the razor to glide over your skin. And this doesn't have to be a straight razor. It can be a dual edge razor, single edge razor, Chevette, or even a cart. Um, but there are some soaps that combine a lot of these properties wonderfully. Noble Otter happens to be one of them. So a lot of the properties that we talk about with shave soaps, they feed into one another. Um, you know, some of them, you know, post-shave really isn't dependent on any other um, property of soap, but cushion slickness and residual slickness, in my opinion, are all generally linked. Um, although, with some soaps, it's almost an inverse proportionality for cushion to slickness. Um, it can be, at least. Uh, as in, the more water you add, the less cushion you have, but the more slick the soap gets. I've still got decently good volume right now. Just to give you guys a demonstration of it. Um, but if I pushed it any farther, the volume would start decreasing. Just to show you guys.
the residual slope slickness on this soap is killer. It's great residual slickness. The reason I don't rate this as an elite soap is that the primary slickness and the cushion are just like a half a step below um, some of those soaps that I do consider elite. That being said, this is still an excellent soap. I mean, If this was the only soap base I had in my den, I would be pretty happy with the shaves I would get from it. Lathering wise, it's a very easy lathering soap. Um, I loaded it a lot longer than you really need to. Then again, I do that with every soap. one of those people that I'll take the easiest loading soap in the world for me which is Martin de Condre which I can realistically get a three pass shave off of about a 10 second load and I'll still load it for 30 seconds There we go. Very nice, very nice indeed. So, in case you guys were wondering or wondered why I'm using Monarch, it's not necessarily a Christmas scent. Well, in religious terms, Christmas is the birth of Jesus Christ not to get preachy so don't don't take it as that who is the uh, you know <clears throat> but monarch so yeah it's kind of a word play not necessarily a uh, scent play or a theme play so but all the same uh, I had a great shave um, yeah DFS I don't try and get any more because I like to try and shave every day. I didn't yesterday because of a long day. Um, but I'll be right back and uh, for some post-shave thoughts. See you in a second. All right, guys. All done. Had a nice shave with Noble Otter's Monarch. So really enjoy the scent. Really, really do enjoy the scent. Um, Again, this is right up there with Tainuari Vanille, um, as far as just pure enjoyment of it. Brush still got a little bit of scent left over. So use the Shave Mac, 26 millimeter, two band finest, <clears throat> and the big Philly, Philly 14, straight razor, it's an 8 8 razor. So guys, Post shave on this soap is really, really good. Again, the only reason it's not an elite soap is everything is just a half a click below that of the elite soaps. It's, I mean, it's really, really good, guys. Uh, if you haven't tried out Noble Water yet, do yourself a favor. Uh, find a scent that you enjoy. Um, get some samples. Try it out. Um, you can't go wrong with the soap base. The soap base is absolutely phenomenal. Um, you can find them at www.noblewater.com. I'll provide a link in the description. 
uh, as well as the uh, wholesalers, Maggards, Maggard Razors, West Coast Shaving, uh, and I believe the Groomatorium also has it. Not sure about Italian Barber. If Italian Barber does carry it, it'll be in the in the uh, in the uh, video description. So, yeah, that's my shave for today, guys. Um, again, I want to thank all my subscribers. Um, it's real humbling to know that I've got a hundred people that feel I'm worthy enough to to click that uh, that subscribe button. So, uh, I want to give a, a real big shout out and thank you. Um, and uh, yeah. Stay tuned, keep, keep watching the channel. If you haven't checked out The Shaving Cadre, stop on by www.theshavingcadre.com and uh, check out all the great discussions we've got going on there and uh, join in. Uh, you'll, you'll be pleasantly surprised with how welcoming and how nice everybody is. It's a great group of people um, and be prepared for it to have a sense of humor. Uh, we love to poke fun at, everybody, at, at each other uh, in, in good ways. So, um, yeah. Stop on by and say hi. Until the next video, guys, um, or if you're on the Shaving Cadre forum, until I see you on the forums, guys. I'm Dagwood Z. Peace.